All right, and we are live. Welcome, friends. Thanks for joining us today. We are live at five. My name is Ruel Gaviola, joined as always by my wife, Michelle. Hello. And our daughter, Lauren. Hello. We play a different board game here every day on Facebook Live at 5 p.m. Pacific. We are physically distancing, but we are not socially distancing because we hang out and connect socially through the wonders of the internet and tools like Facebook Live, Zoom, and so forth. So this is our way just to hang out, play games, and connect with y'all at home. So thank you again for spending part of your day with us here. Um, a big shout out to our friends and family in the uh, healthcare industry and first responders. Thank you for your sacrifice and hard work as we all try to get through this together as we stay at home to flatten the curve. Today, we're playing a great, great filler game, family style filler game called For Sale. And before we get to that, as we always do here on Live at Five, we're gonna do a quick mental health check. And today I will start with Michelle. How are things with you, my dear? Um, going well. I had to go to my classroom today to kind of close things out. Um, our semester is not over, but next week they're deep cleaning the building. So mm -hmm. all the teachers had to check out. Um, but there were only like three or four of us assigned per day this week. Mm -hmm. So there weren't hordes of people there. Good. Um, but as I was cleaning out my classroom, um, I saw this lady, because we serve um, the free lunch from 11 to <coughs> 1. Mm -hmm. And it was just outside of my classroom. And I saw this parent come in with um, her grown child. And I, I didn't think anything because I didn't, you know, I thought, oh, well, you know, maybe it's a sister or something. And, um, you know, I did some more cleaning and I looked again and the grown child had a cap and gown on. And I was like, wait, who is this senior? I know most of the seniors, um, but it was one of the seniors. And what they're gonna do is take pictures of each one of the kids um, in cap and gown. And they're um, going to post it somewhere in San Bernardino County. Nice. Um, so, you know, I was able to um, talk with three of the kids and yeah. they're near and dear to my heart. Well, this class is because they were my first um, class um, that I taught as a high school teacher. Mm -hmm. So, you know, those are my babies. Nice. Now they're all grown all up. Grown up. Yeah, I had, so to, cool. I had to stop popping my head out because I was going to cry. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. That's so cool that you're able to connect with them that way. Yeah. Awesome. That's great. What about you, Lauren? What's going on with you? Uh, it's the Friday of week five. Um, so I am predictably tired, uh -huh. um, and also predictably, I have a lot of work to do. So after this, I will be finishing up a policy brief and, uh, getting, uh, a, a, an account for a data scraper, uh, for some research that I'm doing. Data scraper. Yeah. Huh. I didn't know. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that is. Yeah. <laughs> so again, Lauren keeping yourself busy as always. Yeah. Are you going to be able to take some time off this weekend or are you working through the weekend as well? Uh, I do have to get quite a bit of work done over the weekend, but I'm making sure to get outside at least once a day with a mask on, of course, yes. by walking Bruno. Yes. Um, he has been a little bit hesitant to go outside. He'll stop once uh, in the hallway of our house, again at the doorway, again at the gate, again <laughs> in the driveway. Um, but I figured out that uh, we just don't go the direction that he wants to go okay. oftentimes. Okay. So uh, our usual route is to go exiting our driveway to the right. Yeah. Um, for the last week, he's been wanting to go to the left. Yep. And most recently, he's just been wanting to walk in the street. <laughs> um, so oh, he's a funny we, dog. Yeah, yeah. So if we uh, do what he wants, he'll do it. Okay, nice. So we were talking before we got on the stream today that Lauren was able to take care of the three of the four bees that I really enjoy. So number one is Bruno, the bee. She also got us burritos for lunch and boba as a drink today. And the fourth bee, of course, we share together board games. So we have some comments. They're not showing up on my screen, but yeah. they are showing up on your screen. Of course, Victor, what up, fam? <laughs> Good to see you as always, my friend. Uh, Chris as well from uh, Charity Board Gamer. Thank you for joining us. Anyone else? Uh, yeah. Did you see Chris's first comment? Oh, uh, take the space station for all the money, please. Yes, Chris, you play like our nephew. He always goes to the station for all the money. So thanks again for joining us. Uh, my mental health, I've had a great mental health day today. I was very honored and just surprised by 
uh, a couple of videos that came out today. The first was uh, Danny from Danny Plays Games. He did this amazing video of passing board games, sort of like the, um, yeah, <laughs> <Come on. laughs> uh, the, um, the one video that went viral of the stunt people hitting each other. Uh, Danny contacted a bunch of us in the board game community and last week, and he said, hey, I want to do something with board games where we pass a game to each other. And through his coordination, I mean, it must have, I can't even imagine how much work it took to do this, but over the week, he put together over 40 of us um, on this one video with over 48 board games, I believe it was, or something like that. And it looked great, it was fun. I did my Kobe impersonation cool. <laughs> and thanks to Michelle and Lauren for filming that and setting it up. And also I want to shout out the Brothers Murph. They totally surprised me today with this wonderful video, a series that they've been doing called the Board Game Parody News. I think that's the official name, but they do this sort of like uh, News at 11 style broadcast where they talk about uh, news in the board game community and they gave me a shout out and it was very nice and touching and very funny as well. I'll let you check that out. Um, it, it made me laugh out loud. And finally, a uh, shout out to Christy of Meeple Overboard. He said some really nice things on Twitter as well. Thank you, Chris. And Chris is a regular viewer here. So appreciate it, my friend. Um, anything else? You should guess in the comments how old Ruel is, especially if you've seen uh, the Brothers Murph video. Yes, yes. Ta uh, I wish we had a prize to give away. Maybe we'll, we'll, we'll hook some up with something. Maybe, uh, <laughs> maybe a, a virtual high five. How about that? <laughs> guess in the comments below how old I am, according to the Brothers Murph. Um, <laughs> friends, let's play some For Sale. This is a game where uh, Lauren will be taking care of the cards over here. We are buying and selling properties. So during the first round, we're going to go through this deck of cards here, which have properties numbered one through 30. They come out at random, okay? And Lauren, Michelle, and I will be bidding on them using our coins. We each start with 14 1,000 coins and two 2,000 coins. It's a straight auction game, so uh, if Lauren started the bid, she may start the bid with any amount she wants, and then we have to increase or drop. She may also elect not to bid by just dropping out immediately, and she would get the lowest property for, for free, basically. If Michelle and I bid, we continue bidding until one person drops out. That person will pay half her, their price to the bank and take the other half back in their hand. And whoever's remaining will pay the full amount or the winning bid to the bank. Okay. Again, the cards are number one through 30. We go through the entire deck. So we'll have a hand of uh, properties in our hand. And the next round, we will do the exact same thing. However, there will be random money cards come out. Ooh, look at the zero. These are uh, numbered zero through 15,000. And we likewise, we're gonna bid with our properties. So we're trying to sell our properties at the best price. So we put, put these here, we reveal, everyone puts one down and then the one that has the most will get the most money and you just go down the line until some the least gets the least amount of money. At the end of the game, we will have money cards in our hand and any remaining chips you add that up, the most player with the most money wins. That is for sale. Any questions from my fellow players? No. Nope. Okay. So first, uh, so let's check out any comments that are happening. Okay, Abby's watching. Hi, Abby. Hi, Abby. Hello, Abby. We're all thinking about you, Abby. Yes, we are every day. <laughs> <laughs> any uh, day. <laughs> so uh, real quick, I'm going to uh, delete. <laughs> I'm going to discard five random or six random cards from the each deck. So we cannot count cards. Okay, Chris Goodlett said he's got to go. All right. Dinner's ready. He's going to read to his kids. Awesome. Chris, thanks again for us. always stopping by supporting. Chris is amazing. He does such good work with Charity Board Gamer. Please check out that site, four, five, six. I'm also randomly discarding six money cards. That will come and play in the second round. So we're ready to go. I don't know why comments are not showing up on yeah. this thing today. But anyways, let's continue. So I start with the green ones? Uh, yes. And how many do I draw? Uh, number of players, so three. Two, three, ooh. Okay, so let's get this I feel like here. you can't really lose. Okay, so we have uh, three properties, and Lauren, let's start with you to bid. You may open uh, the bidding oh, with one, or you can just drop okay. out immediately <laughs> and take the 14. It's not bad. I know. Not bad. But. Uh, okay, I'll bid a thousand. Okay, I'll drop out. Take the fourteen, okay. Michelle. Um, I will go with two. Um, 
Okay, so 2000 Yes. So, Lauren, it's back to you. You may outbid or you may pay this and take the 20 I will pay this and take the 20 Okay, and mm -hmm. Michelle pays the entire thing. And Michelle will open the bidding on the next round. Super Ooh. quick game. Um, Ooh. Oh, we got some big properties out here. Michelle, you may open the bidding or immediately okay. drop out to get the 16 Um, I'm going to open with two. All right. Lauren? Three. I will drop for 16 saving my money. Okay, I'm going to drop. I'll take the 28 Okay, you pay half. Lauren will pay Ooh. the entire three. Wow, that's a bargain for a 29 Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Okay. And then... Oh, doghouse. Rex's doghouse. <laughs> oh. Okay, Lauren. Oh man. Uh, the I, I I do want the doghouse. <laughs> I also want to win the game. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go to two thousand. Um, three. Do I ha can I bet even or do I have to outbid? Outbid, outbid or drop. Three. Four. Don't do it. What's that? It's four total, right? Okay. Or I have to bid an additional four. No, you just have to go over the. Uh, okay. Bid. So yours was. Two or three? Three. Okay, so four. Okay, I'll go six. God. <sighs> That's why I saved my money earlier. Got to outbid y'all. Okay, I am going to take the doghouse. All right. Michelle pays half for the doghouse. Oh, so. Just so one. Because <laughs> my dog needs somewhere to live. Okay. Lauren? I'll pay half. For the tent. Okay, and I'll pay the full six for this beautiful home on the water. This is um, Malibu, I believe. <laughs> <laughs> Chris just missed it. Here's uh, the space station. Oh, space station. So, Lauren, did you pay your half for that? Uh, yes, this was my half. Okay. Uh, so, I opened oh, on this. Right? was it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because yeah, you bid four. You put two there, two there. Okay, okay. Okay, I'm going to start the bidding low. Let's start with five. <laughs> Wow. I want the space station. I'm, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna. Okay. Fair warning. I'm not gonna be outbid for that space station. So you can run through a lot of the game right now. <laughs> is what he's trying to say. I'm not gonna be outbid for that space station. Okay. Um. You put out five. Yep. Six. God. I thought you were gonna drop. <laughs> you thought wrong. <laughs> <laughs> uh. It's okay. It's I, I, I will. I will not bid and take the island property with the looming octopus. Okay. <laughs> Remember when I said I was not going to be outbid for that? Mm -hmm. I lied. <laughs> so I pay. Uh, was okay. it three? I forget. Do I round down? I, I do. Think round you round up. up. Round up. Okay. There's that. Take this. Michelle pays the whole. Okay. So I get the space station. You get Eliza's Woo! space station. <laughs> beep, beep, okay. Beep, beep. And you open the bidding for here. Oh yeah. Oops. These are mine, huh? What am I showing them? Uh, so we have the <laughs> yacht, the stone house, question mark, and uh -huh. the Ninja Turtle house. Yeah, great place to get pizzas. <laughs> so mom, you start, right? Yes. Yeah. Um, how about 1,000? 1, 1,000 sounds like a deal. 2,000. Boy, I'll do 4,000. I think I might have to take the sewer. Okay, 1,000 bucks. <laughs> Got it for cheap. Lauren? I will take the the <sighs> stone house. Yeah, pay half. Mark. Here's one. I was hoping you go one more. <laughs> I pay the full. Okay. And next one. Up. Oh, Chris is on. Hey, Chrissy. Yay. Chris says, hey, I freaking love this game. Yes. Thank you, Chris. One of our favorites. I already got the space station. <laughs> yeah, that's all over. Um, I'm going to. Who goes first? You? Yeah. Okay. I've got. You know, I'm just going to, I'll pass as the first player, so I immediately get this nice island uh, hut. But or, there's a shark in the water. Oh, there is a shark. Well, that's what you get for... It's a fixer-upper. It's a fixer-upper. <laughs> Must be able to kill sharks. Um, what is number 11? Uh, Treehouse. I like trees. Okay. You, you just take played it for free? Yeah. Wow, really? I got that Woo for free? <laughs> Which one? Can you show that one again? Yeah. That is a meth mobile. That's <laughs> where Breaking Bad takes place, so... Lauren, we're gonna have to keep an eye on you. Um, but it's also like you know how you take tours to visit famous places. Oh yeah, okay. So I think that's where its value comes from. From okay. a tour, yeah, okay. it's a tourism business. Oh, people. So, so that means I go first. Yeah, because you got the highest property. Jeez. Okay. One. 
I will go. I'll drop. I will get number 23. Oh, I can't. Laura got it for so cheap. You got this a castle a for mansion. a thousand bucks. Yeah. And I think this is a, the final. Round. Final three. Uh, we have an outhouse, uh, <laughs> a teepee, and an igloo. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, who I won the first. last one? Okay, Lauren. Uh, a thousand. You know, my properties need a restroom, so I will take the <laughs> house. Um, I will go. You know, I'm gonna take that TP. Okay. Third round in a row. Gosh, Lauren. Like a thousand. Okay. So we have bought our properties, ladies and gentlemen. So next, okay. we are going to sell them. So we will look in here. Any money that you have left over in coins will be added to your total at the end. Most points wins. For those of you just joining us, thank you for spending part of your day with us here on Live at Five. My name is Ruel. I'm joined by my wife, Michelle, and Lauren. We do this every day, every weekday at 5 p.m. Pacific. We play a different board game. This is our way to just hang out with y'all and connect socially, even though we can't connect physically, physically yet. So hang in there. We're all getting through this together. We will flatten that curve, or we continue to flatten the curve as we stay safe and stay at home. So... Now, we are going to sell these properties in our hand. The cards are numbered 0 through 15,000. Uh, they're randomly, uh, we've randomly throw, uh, discarded six of them. And typically, there's two of each card, zeros, ones, two, or zeros, twos, threes, up to 15. But again, we randomly got rid of a few, so we don't know what's going to show up. Uh, and then, so for this round, the money will be um, shown, and then we just secretly place down a property, the property with the highest, gets the highest amount, and so forth. I place his face up, right? Yes. And three? Yes. 8,000, 2,000, and 5,000. Okay, so eight. I'm just going to put these in order yeah. here for our audience, our friends at home. So everyone's going to place a card down. And I forgot I, I forgot how this mechanism works. Do so you, you in front of? Uh, you just place it in front of you. Okay. We reveal simultaneously, and then the high. We just put them in order. The highest gets the highest, and the lowest gets the lowest, and so forth. Ah, I see. Okay. So I have mine. Okay. Michelle has hers. Okay. Lauren has hers. We shall reveal. I have a outhouse. I have a tree house at, okay. at eleven. And I have an RV. Okay. So there you go. So my outhouse on the market has earned two thousand dollars. <laughs> Michelle's treehouse got five, and Lauren's uh, meth mobile got eight. Yes. <laughs> okay, uh, and you can place this face down in front of you. And that, you just discard those, and we continue the game. Okay. All right, and we go until all the money cards have been distributed. Okay. okay. So you need to sell some property this. here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Make some yeah. money. 4000 8000 and 7000 Okay. Okay, not bad, not bad. Okay. Um, oh, here, I'll put this over here. Are you trying to tell us something real well? <laughs> I'm going to get the highest. Level. <laughs> All right. And we shall reveal. I have a number nine. Six. Okay. 20. So Lauren got the highest one. Michelle and I. I thought we got pretty good value for this. The tree house. <laughs> your TP. Your TP. Oh, yeah. yes. That's tree house was a previous Last round. Yeah. All right. And then we do it again. We just rinse and repeat until the end of the 14, game, folks. Oh, there's the 14. Six and 11. Nice. And what are these? What's the highest? Highest 14. is 15. Oh, 15. yeah. So we have 14, 11, and 6. Highest in the deck is um, 15. Okay. Ooh, what am I going to do here? I'm going to do this one. Okay, ready? Mm -hmm. And reveal. I have a 14. 23. Oh, 26. the 26 gets it. So, oops, this one here. Michelle gets 11, and I get 6. Dump those properties. And our next round, 11, 12, Ooh. 9. All right, let's get ready to fight. And we have chosen, so reveal. I have a 16. 12. 27. Woo, 27 is going to get the big one. So let's just set this up for the audience. Yep. So that's that. Michelle gets 12. Um, Thank you. Lauren, was yours 16? No, no, mine was 16, right? Yeah. And you had the 12. 12. Not bad for a stone house. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you have six, seven, and three. Boy. Okay. I have chosen mine. Oops. Me too. All right. And we reveal. I have a 17. Three. Seven. Ooh. Wait, that's sort of a dud for a 17. 
<laughs> really, I'm not that excited anymore. <laughs> so Michelle's uh, Teenage Turtles um, place home. Gets, <laughs> home gets three. Lauren's tent gets six. And my yacht was dirt cheap, 7000 <laughs> Wow. Doesn't pay to be in the water these days. Okay. Ooh. 14, 13, Ooh. and 9. Okay. Will we see the space station? That's the question. There may or may not be a... Well, there's at least one... Well, I don't know. We randomly threw out six. So you yeah. don't know if that 15 is going to come out. Well, we'll see. All three 15s? Two 15s. Two. You never oh. know. Oh. No, I'm good. I'm good. You okay. sure? Yes. And reveal. 13. 28. There's the 28. So the castle has scored Buko Bucks. Hey, my little suburban home got 13. <laughs> hey, Lauren's Island home got nine. Not bad. Pretty yeah. good market that round. Four. Uh oh. Ten. Uh oh. Two. Uh oh. Oh, man, this sucks. I'm definitely not getting enough value for this. Are yeah. <laughs> you putting the space station down? <laughs> I feel like that 15 is coming the last round. I hope so. Okay. Uh, ready? <laughs> yeah. And reveal. I've got 22. Four. Four. Oh, okay. So I got the 10. Sorry. I'll take the four. And the doghouse. Hey, two grand for a doghouse. It's a luxury doghouse. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh no. zero. 13. Oh, oh no. Oh, Both 15s oh, were there. Oh, okay, so you're just going to well. play your last card. I have a 24. Michelle's going to get paid. Oh, Lord, oh no. <laughs> At least the space station got paid. That oh, was brutal. Can you shuffle these cards? Wow. Okay. So there's Lauren zero, mine zero. <laughs> that was tough. So, folks. We're done with the game. Now we're going to do the all-important scoring. We're going to do the math. I'm so sad. That was brutal. I don't, I've never seen that before where there's two zeros at the end of the game. Okay. That is 22, 23, 24, 25. <laughs> Jose. Yay, math. Yay, math. Jose, how are you, my friend? I forgot what I had already. <laughs> okay, I know what I got. Me too. I counted and recounted. Same. So that was 20. 30. Okay. How is everyone doing today? I hope you're playing games this weekend and or maybe tonight. Um, what's for dinner? Let us know in the comments. Do we do anything with our leftover coins? That will be added to your total. Oh. Yeah. I hope that should help you. Oh, you got a lot of coins left. I lost track. Okay. It's all good. <laughs> okay. So this is 15, 15. So that's 20. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then that's 7, 8, 9, 10, 30. 30. 42. 40, 50, mm -hmm. 53, 54, mm -hmm. 55. Mm -hmm. 69. 69. <sighs> 71? Uh-huh. I had 61. I had 67. Oh, Michelle. Yeah. Nice. It was that space station. The space station. That totally swung the game because that was 13,000 right there. And yeah. we both got zeros for our high properties. Well done. I got a zero for a 29. I know. I got a zero for a 24. So 13,000 was the highest then? That Four came. No, there was a 14. 14. There was a 14. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, there's uh, both of the 15s right there in the deck. <laughs> wow so bad anyways that's what makes this game great folks you just you never know i i love how this quickly this game plays it's so smooth i'm gonna go into real estate now yeah let's you that's know how it works. that's how it works oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, any uh, thoughts uh before we get going here yeah just some comments to catch up on yeah okay 
So, um, <laughs> Victor thought it was called Kizash, not money. Yes, yeah. <laughs> Victor, that is the correct term. We we learned that yesterday in our uh, live Raiders. Game. Yeah, during <laughs> Raiders uh, playthrough, it was, it was the Kizash and uh, the maths. And after my class tomorrow, oh, awesome! Jose's going to be playing a doing a solo game extravaganza. Jose, I may be joining you tomorrow for some solo games. I'm going to. I might stream something in the morning. I have a couple of things on deck that I want to do solo so we will i'll stream that there and we'll play solo games hanging out with each other online and francis just joined us hi francis, francis. i won Lo michelle won <laughs> is anybody surprised <laughs> <laughs> michelle has been on a tear lately yes any thoughts on the game before we get going i i love this game this has been a staple yeah. of the gaviola game library oh, for yeah. years uh lauren thoughts or just anything you want to talk about not even the game yeah <laughs> The game was fun as always. Um, this is always a nice break from me having to do work. <laughs> yes. Um, when I when I don't have like an insurmountable amount of work, mm -hmm. like it's important for me to come and play a game uh, yes. and try to beat mom. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even try. It just happens. <laughs> it just happens. Right, you babe. I mean, we've played this plenty of times. Um, yeah, I love this game. I yeah. love that we can play it with you know our, our nieces and yeah. our nephew. Yes, yes, that, that's yeah. that's important. Yes. Yeah, and it's so easy to learn. Mm -hmm. So yeah. it's I don't want to say it's a no brainer, but yeah, it's yeah. it's fun. Yep. It's fun. Yeah, and it's uh it's. I'm not always the biggest fan of auction mechanics uh, mecha mechanisms in games, but for this reason, it's just so pure. It works. It's smooth. And it's fun. I mean, you're trying to get those properties and you just never know. Like, we got stuck with those zeros. I mean, oh, <laughs> and I just immediately thought, I wish I would have used that 24 earlier. Yeah. You know, and yeah. So, again, woulda, coulda, shoulda. Any comments before we got to get going here? So Jose says yes. Yes, perfect. perfect. Thank you, Jose. Friends, thank you again for joining us. I want to thank everybody for spending part of your day here with us on Live at 5. Hey, there's the sun. Um, Thank you to our friends and family who are healthcare workers and first responders. We appreciate your sacrifice and your hard work to keep all of us safe. And you out there, please, you stay safe as well. Wash those hands, wear those face masks, you know, physically distance and, you know, use the Internet to socially connect. Um, I want to do, shout out one more thing. So this uh, on Monday is May 4th, which is a huge day in the Gaviola um, mm -hmm. household. It is Star Wars Day, right? May 4th, May the 4th be with you. Um, my friend Patrick is doing an online event that I'm um, hanging out with him and his friends. We are doing Star Wars Weekend. So we're going to be you know, just hanging out, watching Star Wars movies, talking Star Wars, blah, 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 anything Star Wars. But tomorrow at 5 p.m. or 8 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. Pacific, oh, 8. That's <laughs> 8 p.m. Pacific, tomorrow, Saturday, May 2nd, I am going to be reading over there on my Twitch channel. And I'll put the comment below, but I'm going to be reading the first 10 pages of this awesome book by Jeffrey Brown. It's Star Wars Jedi Academy. If you, it's like one of those books. What is it like? Um, what's this look like? Or what's it remind me of the? It's a kids book, like a Junie B. Jones. Yeah, or... yeah. That the series, like um, I, I forget. Anyways, <laughs> I, I'm not that up to date with my children's literature. But however, <laughs> I've read this. This is fun. I'm going to read the first 10 pages. Just almost like a bedtime story, I guess. I'll, I'm going to hook up the mic. I'm going to go on Twitch. I'll read the first 10 pages, and hopefully you can join me there. And it's a young reader's book. Young reader's book. That's correct. Because I think it's... Diary of a Wimpy Kid. That's it. Thank you. <laughs> Diary of a Wimpy Kid, oh. but Star Wars style. It's awesome. It's fantastic. So please join me there tomorrow. Um, Y'all have a great weekend. Be safe. We'll see you on Monday with a new game. I may stream this weekend. I don't know. But take care, and we'll see you later. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye.